The Parnell Heck was a 1930s British four-seat cabin monoplane built by Parnell Aircraft Limited at Yate, Gloucestershire. Originally a handy design, few were built. It combined the strength and comfort of a cabin aircraft with the speed of a racer. The Heck was designed by Basil B. Henderson on commission from Whitney Strait, who specified a high cruising speed along with a very low landing speed. It was a single-engine, conventional low-wing cabin monoplane, built of spruce with a plywood covering, initially a two-seater in tandem layout. It had a manually operated retractable tailwheel undercarriage, leading edge slats and slotted flaps, giving it good short field performance in spite of its high wing loading compared to contemporary aircraft in this class. The type was originally designated the Hendy 3308 Heck, with the prototype built by the Westland Aircraft Works at Yeovil. While originally intended to be fitted with a 165 horsepower Napier Javelin engine, it was completed with a 200 horsepower de Havilland Gypsy 6 engine instead. It was allocated the registration G Act and first flew in July 1934. Parnell Aircraft Limited was formed in May 1935 when George Parnell and Company merged with the Hendy Aircraft Company and the armament engineering firm Nash and Thompson Limited. The Heck was redesignated the Parnell Heck. A number of problems with the undercarriage led to it being locked down and covered with trouser fairings. The aircraft set a new record for the flight from Cape Town to England of 6 days, 8 hours and 27 minutes in November 1936. A small production line was started at Yate, Gloucestershire and the production version was designated the Heck 2C. The production aircraft were three-seaters with fixed spatted undercarriages. None of the aircraft was sold, and four were operated by Parnell Aircraft for communications and liaison with RAF squadrons in connection with Parnell's armament contracts. When the Second World War started, the aircraft were repainted from dark grey to a brown and green camouflage scheme but retained civilian registration markings. The fifth production Heck 2C, registered G. Eagle, was flown as serial K-8853 under contract 486,334-36, and was used for trial installations of engines and armaments, including the development of the gun sight installation for the Spitfire and Hurricane. It was later allocated the maintenance serial 3125M. In March 1943, GE was impressed into service with the Royal Air Force as serial NF-749 on communications and liaison duties. The Parnell 382 was a newly designed two-seat open cockpit trainer, with some heck components to meet Air Ministry Specification T.137. It was flown in February 1939 and later assessed at Martlesham Heath as the Heck 3, but was not ordered. The last surviving Heck was G. Agee which was damaged beyond repair in a taxiing accident on June 17, 1950. The aircraft had just come 7th in the King's Cup race at Wolverhampton's Penchford Airfield when a landing civil supermarine Spitfire hit the rear of the Heck and demolished it. Attempts at reconstruction failed and the aircraft was broken up in 1953. Data from British Civil Aircraft 1919-1972, Volume 3 General Characteristics Performance Related Development Related Lists. Thanks for watching.